Hello, welcome back. So in this video we're just going to finish off uh, the kind of crud thing for the content management system. Now I know that this is all a bit boring, by the way, it almost feels like store items all over again, but you know, you should stop and congratulate yourself. Do you realise that you are now able to build a content management system in about half an hour? I mean, fully coded and everything. Most people couldn't even install a content management system in half an hour, you know? So this is kind of cool and uh, just keep on going, you know? All right, that's the end of my Tony Robbins impression. Uh, let's get this manage page working, okay? So it's going to be web pages forward slash manage. And I'm going to. I think I'm going to simplify things a bit. Let's take out this page title thing here and let's take out status, okay? Let's just make life easy. And. Right, so we've got a few variables that we need to change. We've got edit item URL. I'm going to change that across the whole file to edit page URL. Same with this one, and I'm changing it across the entire file, okay? Store items is going to obviously change to web pages, okay? Status, we don't care about anymore, all right? And uh, let me just tidy that up. And so up here, we're going to have page URL. Okay, let me just see. So row, page URL, yep, that's right. Uh, then we're going to have page, was it page title? Page, uh, page headline, that's right. Okay. And we don't need that. We don't need that either. And let me just see how this looks, okay? Let me just have a quick look. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Now, I think maybe I could do with aligning this thing over to the right-hand side here, you know? So, I'll just jump in here and I'll say class equals span2. And as if by magic, watch the buttons. They go over to the right-hand side. So, that's kind of cool. I'd have to say I quite like this. See where it says page URL? Let's do something cool. Let's say... Um, let me have a look here. View page URL, edit page URL, oh jeez, what am I doing? Um, this view page URL thing, I'm going to change that so that it says row page URL. Now keep an eye on the left side of the table. Right, sorry, don't keep an eye on the left. Keep an eye on this button here. Do you see how it's now going to the actual URL, CI shop forward slash the page URL? That's what we wanted to happen, okay? That looks quite good, actually. Um, let me just have a look. Right, up here, I'm going to change that to view page URL. So now we look at the left side of the table, see, see, it's giving us the full URL. And in fact, why not? Maybe we could just make that a link. I don't know. Do you think we should? Well, I'll just leave it because we've got this here. But we could have made it a link if you want to do that. That's cool. Um, okay, so everything looks good. The only thing that we need to do now is delete a page and that's us done, you know, with this uh, kind of crud thing. All we have to do is obviously add it to the front end. So when you look at something like manage items, the way that works is you click on that and then you have the, de the delete option appears at the top here, okay? Now we could add a little red button here and make that delete, but this is such an important section, I don't want people accidentally clicking it or anything. So I'm going to copy the way that, that uh, Manage Items works. I'm going to bring this miserable thing at the top back, okay? So here we go. Uh, store, Items, Create, here it is here, and here is the thing, right? And so I'm going to go to Web Pages, 
create and if we jump up like so let me just have a look if it's numeric update id yep 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 okay so if we go to cms go to edit right we've got a mention of a thing called big pick and we certainly don't need that so let's just uh, simplify this the only thing that we need is delete I mean delete let me just see let me just see what's the name of the button here delete item of course it's delete item I don't know why I had to even look right so that's the only button we need all of this stuff can go right now let me just go to CMS let me just go here okay and where it says item options I'm gonna change that to say additional options sorry additional options right okay and we've got this delete item so I'll change that to delete page how about that and we'll have that saying view page so if we refresh yep that's not too bad a uh, couple of store items links here so again I'm changing throughout the whole file web pages that's good okay now for view page for the URL to actually view the page that's going to be base URL and then it's going to be um, page URL so if we click on that now that's cool it's added some extra stuff that we don't need here so we'll take this off <laughs> okay and if we click on view page you'll see that the URL looks nice you see that that's exactly what we need um, and then delete page is going to go to this delete conf thing here you know what I'm gonna say delete conf bears a striking resemblance to delete conf from store items so I'm gonna save some time and copy that and we'll put that into the web pages controller now let's just quickly check the code so delete item would become delete page everything looks good I'm gonna refresh it's looking for delete conf so we're gonna create a new file and we're gonna call it delete conf.php like so uh, delete conf is going to be remarkably similar to delete conf on store items so I'm copying it from store items pasting in and let me just refresh the page okay so are you sure that you want to and let me just check are you sure that you want to delete the page that's what we want uh, this store items changes to web pages okay and that's kind of cool now there's a button here somewhere yeah here it is yes delete item becomes yes delete page right so that's that now let's check the form location that goes to web pages delete um we don't have a delete yet but we do have a delete on store items so you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy the delete from store items and I'm gonna take it straight across to web pages okay now we just quickly check the code so we've got some security everything's cool now that would say delete page do you remember that um, make sure it's admin process delete the flash data would say the page was successfully deleted and then these store items references get changed to web pages so that looks good everything looks fantastic and I think that's us 
if we press cancel, let me just check. Yep, that's fine. If we press cancel, it takes us back. In fact, let me just show you the whole thing. Uh, CMS. So here we are. We know that create works, right? So I'll go into the second page and the view button works. We've tested that. I'm going to just update it uh, like so. You can see that that has updated. I'm now going to delete it. I'm going to change my mind. Now I'm going to delete it again and I'm going to say OK. OG. Process delete. Right, OK. Fair enough. So we've not got process delete. So I'm going to take process delete from store items. Here it is. And that's going to go on web pages. Like so. Um, we don't need this business of attempt to delete colors and sizes. In fact, we really don't need any of that junk. We can just say delete the record or delete, ah yeah, that will do. Delete the page, that will do. Okay, so let's try that again. I'm just going to delete. And you can see it's taken us straight back. Delete has worked perfectly. We now have create, read, update and delete. It's all working. Thank you very much. All we need to do now is the front end and we'll do that in the next video. Okay, bye.